I just want to say thank you to uh, Gary and Vivian Barker who sent me a little card for Thanksgiving which was last week. But really I wanted to just say something really quick about uh, this diet because a lot of people have asked me questions about uh, like no sugar, no carbs and what do you drink? It was a good question isn't it? What do we drink? Well apparently anything that's been distilled has got no sugar in it like Jameson's or vodka or anything like that. Um, but beer is a big surprise and this is one thing I want to tell you about. Beer's got generally no sugar in it. I'm trying to put some pictures on here of uh, Heineken for example. There's no sugar in Heineken but it's carbs it's got and that's why we all get big beer bellies because we got too many carbs. So what did I drink during my you know first six months of this diet? Well I didn't drink any beer at all but we did find this white wine here which is like <laughs> it's not very good but wine to me is just a drink for an evening but it's got zero sugar in it and it's only nine percent for a bottle and it's about ten bucks so it's not really expensive but don't be fooled into thinking that this is zero alcohol because zero alcohol and this is what I want to tell you about beer can be kind of deceiving because last night Deborah and I had a bottle of this she picked this up zero percent but it's zero percent alcohol but when I read the label at the back it says uh, sugars are three grams of sugar um, wait a minute and five and six grams of carbohydrates in a third of a cup not a bottle in a third of a cup and this is why it gets really interesting because that's something you should know because a lot of people are going on about these uh, new alcohol free beers like alcohol free Heineken alcohol free Guinness and you'll see when I'll do the alcohol free uh, Guinness one here remember this is for a I think it's for a 440 I'm downstairs at the moment I haven't got a can here but it's what they do is when they take the alcohol out they put sugar back in uh, which boosts your carbohydrates and things like this so really it's not all that good for you it's good for you it's good for you because it's low alcohol but it's bad for you for carbs and sugars this is what I'm trying to say same with that white wine I've just put down there it's got zero alcohol in it but it, it's carbs and sugars again you just can't get away from it so what I'm saying is be a detective and look at the labels and what's really confusing about things is, is the measurements because over here like this is done wine and things like this is done in three quarters of a cup or 188 milliliters on the Heineken uh, website it's in a hundred milliliters all right there's a big difference and the Guinness is in I think it's 440 so it's really difficult there's no sort of easy way to judge you have to do maths and work out how much is in there but just be careful about that the um, the the zero alcohol but they do boost it up with sugar all right catch you later